You're not scared, are you? Not too scared. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode three of Lawrence Plays Black Mesa. So, a quick confession before I start. Um, I spent a load of time in the last um, uh, earlier. I think this is the right way out. Running around in this level, getting very, very confused, and not really getting anywhere. So, what I've done is I've started the recording again and gone back to my save point. Um, just because, I mean, there's there's no point in watching me running around, running around the um, offices for for half an hour and not really achieving anything. Um, I did discover a couple of places I'd missed. One of them was in here, and it turns out if you climb up here, there's a jump here, which you can't quite make because that fan's on. But if instead I go up here and fight against the wind, turn it off. Then it's not quite so bad, and I can easily clear it. Um, there's then a. You can go up here. Along here. And there's this nice little bonus area. Oh! That was quite a lot of fail. That was even more fail. Uh, standing around failing and trying. And... Well, that was <laughs> terrible, especially given that I was talking about how much, how well it was going um, in the previous one with the exploration. Let's try that again with a bit less fail this time, shall we? So, in here, along here, up the ladder. Turn off the fan. Jump the jumping puzzle. <laughs> Up the ladder. Try and get into the vents because this is difficult. There we go. It's the whole crouching and ladders and so forth physics that I keep moaning about. And let's try doing this all over again with a bit less terrible. been known to complain about the ladder and the jumping physics a few times I think so I'd like to, I'd like to think that um, I'm at least consistent with my complaints now how can I get down there without hurting myself can I get down there without hurting myself or do I need to go back back through there I think it's probably safest to go back through here I did discover down by those vortigaunts that we just saw then, there's um, a health, health machine as well. Get off the ladder, goodness sake. Right. <laughs> there's a, a health machine down there as well, so assuming I can find that, and I think it's down here? Yes, there, that's, that's where I was a minute ago. Right, so there's a health machine down there somewhere. Um, I just need to dispose of those vorticons first by probably by shooting that box. There it is. There we go. <laughs> it's a bit easier when you know what's going on. Oh, isn't a health machine just a medikit? Still. Better than a uh, poking the eye with a sharp stick, as they say. Maybe it's this health machine I'm thinking of. Anyway. That's now much better. Where's that, where's that dining area? Through here. Good. So the other thing I discovered was that there is a, a reason to go in the fridge because you can climb up on this nonsense here. And then do a bit more of Gordon Freeman's favourite tunnel uh, air duct crawling. Now I'm assuming there's going to be some head crabs up here, so I've got the crowbar out. That's where I got the, um, what do you call it, the bull squid. This is about as far as I got. So, oh, so that's an easy restart point if you um, get if you fall off. That's handy. Um, 
Right, so I need to get up to... The, I need to get a bridge across there. Rails in the sea. Ah! Crane? Now that red colour makes me think that there's something that can be done with that. So does that red colour. This is not the sort of physics you got in the original... Um, physics puzzle you got in the original Half-Life. <laughs> there we go, there's the crane moving. Can I just move it all the way to the end, or do I need to actually time it? Probably all the way to the end. Oh. Find out. That looks about right. No, I've gone too far. There we go. That looks good to me. Okay. I feel like I'm making progress, which makes a nice change. As I said, I spent the last half an hour or so um, running around in circles, or so it felt like. So it wouldn't have made a very good episode at all. Now... Yay! <laughs> Okay, that one made me jump a bit. Power of 45%. That's pretty good. Full health and nearly half armour. I'd say that's going well. Freedom. Somewhere new. Long last. Yikes, what's that? And what am I stuck? Oh! <laughs> Alright. Well, I did have um, <laughs> full health and nearly half armour. Oh, I thought that was some ammunition. Sucks. Um, I wonder what that valve does. Does it just fill the room with water? <laughs> Let's turn it anyway, find out what's, you know, what's the worst that could happen. Yeah, those are inert gas cylinders. <laughs> I was expecting that to explode when I hit it. Oh. Oh, I need to work on my reactions a little bit. Also, that head crab shadow is terrifying. No head crab around this corner. I can hear a zombie. No, it just looks like some security people. Uh, scientists and security... Yeah. Yeah, you can see as well as I can. Is there any reason not to drop down? No, I don't think so. Freeman! Good heavens! You gave me quite a scare! <laughs> don't count on the cavalry finding us down here, Doc. Yay, revolver. We gotta head for the surface. But with all the elevators out of order... We can still climb. True, I am seem to be going do seem to be going generally upwards. Presumably this is Yeah, that's back where I've already been. Okay, good. Are you guys following me? Yes. Excellent. Let's actually have a gun out, shall we? They're kinda of useful. Keep that thing away from my cranium! Sensational! Excuse me. Yeah, maybe I'll keep the little pistol out. It's Easier to react sort of quickly with. Oh no, I'm getting there yet. What was spotted? All right. You feeling lucky? Yikes! Oh, these things give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> like that? I hope I'm not going to need that scientist. It's probably going to be some area full of useful stuff that I can't can't unlock because I haven't got a scientist with me now. Great. I don't know why you. Great. Jeez, little bugger, scared. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. 
Sheesh. I mean, I... Sir, you better reload. And thank you. I mean, I know it's technically a horror, kind of a horror game, but still, it's a bit full of jump scares. Oh, and that's interesting. I'm above the cafeteria now. That's I quite, I quite this? like it when games do that sort of thing where you you see places you've already been or you look down into things and it uses the 3D-ness for a bit of effect, even if you don't necessarily want to go back down there. It's quite still quite nice. Because it gives it, it makes it, it makes it feel more like you're exploring a, an actual real place, rather than just some endless series of corridors put there to perplex you and challenge you. Right, obviously I have to jump over there and then go up. Keep going till you reach the surface. <laughs> Good advice. Is this is this a different elevator shaft? I can't hold on much longer! Help! Can't. <laughs> oh. I don't know what to do. I mean, I could... I can't pass him a ladder. Oh, well. That's... Yeah, I can't jump that because there's this, la this ladder is in the way and I'll bash my head and... Yeah. Okay, onwards and upwards. I mean, I'm basically doing what the... Oh, there we go, now I can jump across. I don't think I even jumped then, I still made it. <laughs> right, okay. He... Oh, that's interesting. Um, pressing the use button gets me on and off ladders. That's, that'll be worth knowing next time I get stuck on one. <laughs> What's down? What was that? Sounded like a zombie going through a door, but I I don't know if I want to go into that lift. It's a bit of a one-way thing. Let's have a look down here first. Okay, that's curious. like one of those, here is another way to get back if you screw up the jumping puzzle things. Maybe if I now open these doors, it'll get me somewhere useful. <laughs> New level, check all the guns are full. could have made it through that door if I moved a bit sooner. Um, presumably I don't need to, but or it would have let me. Wow. That's all everything's. I've said it before, when that sort of thing happens, it feels like you're about to get ganked. All right. Well, it was nice of that scientist to clear out the, um... the trip mines for me. It's a shame there's a few more of them. Can I claim these? There's some game... I forget which one it is where you can reclaim trip mines by uh, just going up to them and picking them up. I don't think this is that one. Apparently it's not one where you can trip a trip mine by shooting it either. I mean, those are trip mines, aren't they? Actually, maybe they're not. They're not really big enough. And the one that blew up the scientist had a blue laser. Maybe they're just alarms. Well... 
and there's a turret there. I remember that from the original. Oh dear, I'm metagaming. Sorry about that. I wonder if I can... No, I can... Oh. Is that a missile launcher? And if so, can I have it? Um. Can I go and push it over? Let's try it. Yeah. Excellent. Ah! Oh, God. Bloody head crabs. <laughs> um, right. Let's nip back to those charging machines. At the old health matics oh, Well, that one's empty now. Still, there's more health available if I need it. Right. Um, soldiers, good. No, I don't. Oh, maybe that's an undeployed turret. Okay, I can't pick us up then. It's funny how the doors with these crash handles on them are the ones that don't open. Ooh. Power nice. level is 100%. Excellent. These never open. Maybe that's what the batter up. Oh, I on the turret. I suppose pick them up and use them against the uh, head crabs, can I? <laughs> no. Come on then. Where's the other one? There it is. I'm going to push that over again because I don't trust it not to shoot me. <laughs> that is one of the splody ones. Can I nick him? No. Can I shoot him? physics puzzle and I should be pushing this no this doesn't move I don't want to shoot that trip mine because it feels positioned in such a way no, let's take a barrel they're a bit easier to manhandle um, <clears throat> I feel there isn't really room whereas if I do this nothing happens at all if I do this oh goodness sake in theory. That went straight through the beam and didn't didn't make it explode. Ah, oh, That's disappointing. I'll have to shoot it from this corner then. Oh, two percent battery, that's not too bad. There's a third one as well, I'm sure. That wasn't behind, no, it wasn't behind me. Yep, that was alright. There was a third one.
It takes me a lot less time to charge up a shot. <laughs> I don't actually need that. It's quite an interesting um, and actually, to be honest, fairly common uh, thing in games to have to have deliberately have the separate health and armor bars the way the way this one does, uh, and that means that the game can sort of help people who are doing badly by scattering lots of health machines around, but not help people who are doing well who've got full health and just damaged armor. and therefore clearly don't need the help. Some turrets there. Um. There were turrets there. Excellent. Another one over the... That one's sort of steaming vaguely. Is that just because it's... Be yeah, I think it's dead. There's no tripwire to trip anyway, so maybe that means I'm safe from them. I'm not sure. I'd like to think that the AI in these these turrets, since this is supposed to be sort of modern, but not ridiculous technology, at least from the, not from Black Mesa, um, are lower, that these turrets should be a bit less smart than the ones in Portal. So, <laughs> ah. Where was that health machine I was talking about? <laughs> Just up here. Yeah, so, um, as I was saying, if you're doing well, then you'll have full health. You'll just been taking dings to your armour. If you're doing badly, you've got less health, and therefore having all the health machines available is even better for that. I think the most extreme version of that I've seen is Goldeneye, which, at least in multiplayer, allowed you to heal armour but not health. So, if you took a bit of a beating in, multi in, a, um, in a shootout in multiplayer, but you, so, hmm, um, but didn't, but actually, but won the firefight, so you'd lost some health and all of your armor, you couldn't actually get that back, which meant you'd be at a disadvantage against the ne against your opponent the next time you ran into them, because they would, in theory, have full armor. They'd, if they'd found any armor, at least, they'd have full armor. Ah, get that. Can't get in there. <laughs> right. Yeah, they in theory would have full health and full armor, and therefore be in a better position than you for the next fight. Ah! I thought I disabled that one. Ah! That really hurt. <laughs> Yeesh. Right, these have turned tripwires have turned off now because I've disabled all of the turrets. Wow, that really hurt. That was like lost 150% health. Jeez. And I'm running low on magnum ammunition as well. I don't like turrets. <laughs> I do have some grenades though, where do they come from? I've never got six. Careful, don't cross the beams. Dun 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 I hope you don't mind if I tag along. Let's, um... Let's, open, let's get rid of that front mine from a bit further away and try not to blow the scientists up in the process. Ooh, haven't been in. Oh, that's a, um... A bottomless elevator shaft, okay. Let's not go in there at all, then. Hey, guys. It seems as though I'm constrained I'm by you, the exigency Freeman. of circumstance to follow you. 
water's slippery, it turns out. Um, right. One. This gun isn't really accurate enough. There's the G-Man. I feel like I should shoot him, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't do any good. Yeah, as I predicted. <laughs> oh, get some health back. Thank goodness for that. You do have more ammunition, correct? <laughs> you guys. I'll stay here. You're going to have to leave me here. Gordon. Stay here. That's what is that That was a wonderfully sinister now under military command, wasn't it? Okay, let's chase the G-Man. Find, uh, find out where he is going. Another battery, excellent. And some magnum. We should appeal to the alien authorities. <laughs> More turrets. Okay, I'm not going to be able to... Is there anything around here I could have got those scientists to do then? Or are they just... Just there for scenery? I think they were just there for scenery. Alright, leave them alone. Because they're not going to... Scientists aren't very good at jumping puzzles. So we wouldn't be able to get them up here. Ooh, that looks splody. Colour coded for explosions. I don't know if that means I should shoot it or I shouldn't shoot it. That looks explodey as well, to be honest. Oh, rescued at last! Thank God, you're here. Ah. 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 Right. So we've now nicely established that the um, the military are the bad guys. I can stop sitting on that spoiler. <laughs> Not that it's really much of a spoiler for anyone who's, I don't know, seen the American military. Um, do I get a nice shiny gun? Yes, I do. Excellent. Uh, right click is, yes, right click is lob grenade. So I must make sure, uh, I don't have any at the moment, but um, I must make sure I don't accidentally right click when I do have grenades. And blow myself up. Because so many more games I'm used to playing, um, you will use the right mouse button. Ooh, grenades. Um, we'll use the right mouse button for use iron sights, like basically like like you do with a revolver in this game. But that's only the revolver. Everything else is secondary fire of some sort or another. Okay, this feels like a good place to end an episode to me. I've been playing for almost almost exactly half an hour, it's 29 minutes and some change now. Um, we've had quite a productive episode, I've escaped from the office complex through the freezers and we've discovered that the, um, the military are very very relaxed um, and also the bad guys. So I'm gonna say that's a good place to call it an episode, I'm gonna call it an episode here. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one when we'll no doubt have lots more soldiers to kill. What fun. See you then. Shoot!